Hello friends, how are you doing? I often ask individuals, what is that one solid reason why you want to become a data scientist? And this is what I hear. I love working with numbers. Because it's the sexiest job in the market. I'm making the world a better place. The pay is good. Because I get to predict the future. There are some common misconceptions amongst data science aspirants on their motivations to opt for data science roles. And in this video, I will discuss three such misconceptions which are essentially bad reasons to become a data scientist. So let's get started. The first bad reason is if you decide to become a data scientist just for the glamour. Given that data science is considered to be the sexiest job of the 21st century, you might imagine a data scientist works like a Tony Stark in a corporate setup. Of course, that's not true. You'll be surprised to know that data scientists spend more than half of their time just doing data cleaning, which is tedious, undesirable, and highly repetitive work. Let me explain this with an example. Imagine you are working as a data scientist with a fintech company, and you're given the task of building a credit scoring model. For this task, you will need to refer to multiple data sources for extracting data. This will be followed by aggregation and cleaning. And all of this will surely consume more than half of your total project time. The second bad reason is, if you think that in a data scientist role, you will get to work independently. In a business setup, you will never get a data science problem served to you on a platter. You will rather get a vague business problem with a truckload of ambiguity. And then you will actually be taking a lot of your time in talking to your business stakeholders for translating this vague business problem into a data science problem. Let me take the credit scoring example again to explain this. For building this credit scoring model, functionally, you may have zero understanding of what a credit scoring model is. So that's where you will engage with all your business stakeholders. And those are the stakeholders which will give you crucial insights on different data sources, different parameters, thresholds, etc. These stakeholders will become your eyes and ears to successfully complete your project. The third and the most important bad reason is if you want to become a data scientist for the high salary. There's no doubt in saying that data science is one of the highest paying job. But that's only half of the picture. As they say, with great power comes great responsibility. As a data scientist, you need to be prepared for the hard work and the dedication which is required to be successful. Data science as a field is evolving at the rate of knots. New tools and techniques are being developed at an ever increasing pace. And data scientists need to constantly stay up to date with these latest technologies and methods. While it might sound exciting to many, it's a major challenge if you want to feel settled into your role. If I again take our credit scoring model as an example, let's say you trained your first model using a traditional machine learning model. Everybody liked it and you took it to production. However, in due course, you learned that training a deep learning RNN model would give you increased model accuracy. And if you haven't used RNN before, you might need to learn it on the fly and train a model thereafter. While it is challenging, you are anyway expected to do it. So these were the three bad reasons to pursue data science as a career. The key here is to carefully consider your own interests and strengths before deciding to pursue a career in this field. While data science can be rewarding and challenging career, it may not be the right fit for everyone. For more such informative learning content, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever our new video is live. We also post daily YouTube shorts that cover interview questions and their in-depth answers. Hope you are enjoying them too. Thank you for watching. Bye.